So, um, as you can see, we have a fantastic group of folks here in our panel, and um, I think uh, everybody agrees that collaboration is a must. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and I'll start with one question that I rephrased from all the messages that I got from Twitter, and then in the interest of time, I'm just going to open it up to the public um, so you guys can ask them more questions. Um, so the question is, what makes uh, the moon a sustainable market, and what does your company hope to get out of it by being in this competition? Who wants to start? Bob? If you'd like me to, sure. Um, so. So Odyssey Moon, as I've mentioned, is a uh, is a basically a FedEx to the Moon uh, business model. Uh, since we've announced the company in December 2007, we've also announced uh, four customers that have signed up to uh, to go with our first mission. The Google Lunar X Prize, of course, is an important component of our mission, but uh, the most important uh, component are the paying customers that want to get to the Moon. And if you go to our website, you'll see that there's an interesting mix of scientific, commercial, novelty. And, uh, and research payloads that will be flying with us on our first mission. So our most important um, uh, goal is to, uh, is, is to provide proof of concept that, we can, that the private sector together with government uh, can provide payload services to the moon and establish an economic base and a viable business case for continued operations. Thank you. Okay. Well, for us, this is primarily a proof of concept. We want to prove that a group of open source developers can come together and work together to solve a big problem. And that shows us that we can do other things. If we can reach the moon, then we can reach other planets. We can reach asteroids. We can show that those markets can be developed for commercial use, particularly near-Earth asteroids. That's one of the markets we see as being our future. Um, there's also the business of service. People who want to get into space need to know how to get into space. We're developing expertise by having our people engage in trade studies, engage in analysis of systems. Uh, those are all things that are, that are crucial to people who want to send satellites into space. For the small sat business that's just developing, we're looking at small sat and nanosat projects. And this is really just, for us, it is majorly a proof of concept that shows that this group can achieve the goal. Thank you, Mike. Sure. As, uh, as Bob referred to, there are a number of commercial uh, entities that would like to have payloads transported to the moon. Uh, we are, of course, looking closely at those. Many of them are also in the, uh, in the same challenges as, as many of us have in finding funding for their payloads. But we do believe that there is a viable market for those non-traditional type payloads. We're also uh, looking closely at what NASA and other international space agencies are wanting to do in terms of small instrument packages, research and development. We think we can develop a small or I think we can, uh, we think we can deliver a small uh, payload at, at, at an unbelievably low price point from the government's point of view. And of course the Google Lunar X Prize is once again kind of a proof of concept mission. It, our, our business plan is not dependent on winning the Google Lunar X Prize. However, that would be of course icing on the cake if we were <laughs> able to do it. Uh, so I, you know, we believe of course that in order to get beyond just the low or Earth orbit stuff, that we need these small, inexpensive type missions that can go not only to the moon, but like Fred said, to uh, low uh, near Earth objects, uh, perhaps the moons of Mars, and, and get some of that initial science done. We, we, we definitely see a commercial market for that kind of thing, and that's, that's what we're headed for. Thank you. Kevin? All right, I don't want to repeat uh, some of the things that they've already said, but one of the things we're also um, looking at as a market are the uh, small sats, the nano sats. There are a lot of those sitting around on university shelves and there is a lot of interest um, at the student level and among young people to put together their own um, space vehicles, space probes. Um, one of the things that we hope to be able to do with our common rocket propulsion units is to put together uh, smaller launchers that can launch uh, nano sats, cube sats, tube sats um, into Earth orbit. Uh, we also hope to be able to put together systems that can launch to uh, near-Earth objects, near-Earth asteroids, uh, the moons of Mars, which are two um, beautiful asteroids orbiting above um, a big gravity well that I don't know that I particularly want to drop into, but the moons of Mars would be uh, pretty attractive to me. Um, a lot of the people that I used to communicate with online were from an organization called SIGO, and our main interest was in um, asteroid mining. So that's uh, more what we're looking for, proof of concept for a small um, 
rovers, small um, robotic equipment to mine asteroids and proof of the ability to uh, get there, to have cheap access to space to get these um, rovers or um, automated machines to the asteroids or just into orbit in the case of uh, nanosats. I'd like to, could I add yeah. one thing? I forgot to mention, we do have a very large communications group and one of the very first markets we saw was providing for the future digital communications for both low Earth orbit space tourism industry and the nanosat industry. So we see that providing an open digital communications network is crucial to the future of the space industry, new space and old space, and making that more accessible, both on the moon and just in near Earth orbit. Thank you. So it seems that um, most of our teams have tapped uh, different markets, and we do have um, very great ideas to uh, pursue on the moon. Do we have any questions from the audience, or should I go with a question from the students from ISU? We do have a microphone. Fred, uh, I'm looking at your wiki. Uh, you don't have anything about transportation not on the surface. Is that an intentional focus? Are you worried about ITAR or? Transportation not on the surface of? The moon. In other words, even, even stuff in lunar orbit or getting to and from and? There, there are ITAR issues, but we are not, uh, we are not going to build our own launch vehicle. We are right. doing a trade study. Okay. We are examining the different launch providers. We are looking at both building our own TLI stage and uh, obtaining one from a commercial provider. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Sure. <laughs>